Well, it was one week ago today that Hurricane Isaias roared ashore in the Cape Fear. Brunswick County taken the biggest hit from the fast moving storm. Today, officials from around the state toured the area to get a first hand look at just how bad it is. WWI's Kylie Jones is there now to get more on what they learned and what comes next. Hi, Kylie. It's been quite a week. How are things looking? Hey, Randy, absolutely. And Oak Island here is one of the towns that really took the brunt of Isaias last week. Right here where I'm standing is where the dunes used to be. Take a look behind me. You can see there is absolutely nothing left of those dunes. And the town says that's just one of the few, one of the many problems they're dealing with between the pandemic and now storm damage. Town leaders say they'll take all the help they can get. Just a week after Isaias pummeled the coast of Brunswick County, Oak Island is still picking up the pieces. The dunes are flat. That took the biggest hit. Everything that you looked at there today, all the sands down the streets or first and second row homes. Town manager David Kelly says all the items you see here on East Beach Drive were underwater with a storm surge of eight and a half to nine and a half feet. I was here in 1999 when Floyd came through and it looked about like this. It was two feet of sand in this street. State representatives and North Carolina House Speaker Tim Moore took a look at the damage Monday for themselves. The state has $1.2 billion roughly in what's called the rainy day fund. That's the savings reserve. And we're very proud of the fact that we've been able to maintain that because even with all the other pressures that we've had from COVID-19, you name it. For a beach town like Oak Island, Kelly says Isaias packed yet another punch. Uh, we had already, with the COVID, we had already taken sort of a hit on accommodation taxes and those kind of things. And the realtors, restaurants, and the trickle-down effect had already been hit. Uh, now with the storm again, now we've done another layer on top of that. Between the flooding, damage to the dunes, and house fires, Kelly says they're looking to get as much help as possible. Uh, on the residential side, we're looking at probably around $10 million. The sand side, um, we're still getting those numbers. It is important that we get the sand put back in place because... Our, as the speaker said, our hurricane season is not over. Representative Holly Grange adds the dunes also protect the many turtle nests scattered on the beach. In the meantime, Kelly says they've been working to restore utilities to the island. They say that there's money out there, uh, so hopefully we will be able to get some. And Kelly says crews have actually had to dig the utilities out of the mounds of sand that are now on the streets. He says they hope to have utilities restored to most of the island by tonight. Although that state of emergency and mandatory evacuation for part of the island is still in place as they work to restore power and clean up safely. Reporting live in Oak Island, Kylie Jones, WWAY News.